welcome back to my channel you guys so today I want to share with you guys my first trima trimester recap and so um, it was completely different than my first one my first child was a breeze I didn't have any symptoms I didn't have morning sickness I was just chilling like a villain um so I didn't have much to say I remember um, watching back my like recap of my first child and yeah I hardly had any symptoms I had a few stuff like normal stuff like tiredness and fatigue towards the end but it wasn't like in the first trimester I didn't even feel pregnant or anything I didn't start showing till later so with this pregnancy obviously it's a lot more different um I did start showing a lot sooner then with quarantine I did gain weight with my whole breast issue and me taking steroids I gained more weight and so it's been a tough year it was a tough year last year technically since we're already in 2021 and it's not getting any better so far so um with everything going on it's just kind of crazy that we're still here trying to make it through but with that being said some of the few symptoms that I had that I didn't have with my first child was I started noticing obviously my breasts were a lot more tender a lot sooner um it was crazy I was like why are my breasts hurting I, I didn't know if it was my GM acting out I didn't know if it was because I was gonna get my period but then I didn't get my period and um I was like well according to my app because I did um, start tracking my periods ever since I took out my IUD back in February when it's when it's um, it's when my husband and I started um, deciding that we wanted to start trying and so right before quarantine and everything when lockdowns and stuff like that so it happened right before I remember it was right before Valentine's Day I remember because the teach on uh, the teacher the doctor even said um just in time for Valentine's Day and I was just like oh my goodness so um yeah I did that and we were trying I got the app I wanted to track my period because I never really tracked them especially because in the beginning I was never very on the dot and some I would even go up to like three months without my period and that was normal normal for me that's why the first time around I didn't even know I was pregnant until later on because I just assumed that it was just normal for me to not have my period every single month and so this time since we were gonna try to intentionally have a child this time I wanted to track my periods and kind of figure it out um I did start tracking my period it did work it started catching up on being more accurate as I put more in um more my own information on it every single month like every single time that I got my period I would track it any symptoms and things like that so um I did not get pregnant right away it was taking a while it got to the point that I was like I got my whole situation with my GM and so I decided that whatever God's plan was gonna be it and then with the whole GM thing when it happened I was like might as well like it, it's fine that I haven't gotten pregnant because that took months for it to get under control and so I finally got pregnant and I found out in November um, so when I found out I cried I was like excited because I couldn't believe I thought it wasn't gonna happen anymore that year I was like maybe it's not gonna happen maybe something's wrong at some point I thought maybe my IUD did infect like um did affect me some way of because I remember in the beginning I had pelvic pain and I kind of ignored it and I never went to the doctor so eventually the pain went away so I was like what if I had an infection and I didn't get it checked out so I was getting in my head and I was like whatever if it doesn't happen then it's not gonna happen I was still gonna give it one more year but I was planning to go to the doctor and see what's going on if we're okay if he's okay and so when we found out that we were pregnant we were so happy and excited so that's how that happened so my symptoms um, for the most part besides the breast it started with my breast being tender after that I was really tired I just wanted to be in bed all day like I could not like I would finish working because I'm still working from home and so I have to sit basically on the computer all day and just do emails and phone calls and zoom meetings and so 
doing that as soon as my my day was over i would just go to bed and lay down i didn't want to do anything like i felt so tired i just i couldn't be, i felt like if i was sick or something i had huge headaches i just i couldn't eat well because all the food kind of sounded disgusting to me but at the same time like i had to eat because if i didn't eat i would get even more nauseous so it was horrible i couldn't decide what to eat and even when i did sometimes i would take a bite of it and then get disgusted even more and i couldn't finish the food and so just trying to get something in my belly was basically hard because i couldn't food was just not satisfying in a way like like my favorite foods or any type of food it's just like I, it was hard to find something that my stomach would take and not feel grossed out about and so that was the biggest challenge all through my first trimester it finally calmed down for the most part i can eat food and be like okay once in a while some food kind of uh, doesn't seem that appealing kind of grosses me out certain smells still kind of gross me out but um for the most part i'm feeling a lot more energetic now that i'm entering the second trimester and the food is kind of an okay type of situation but it's still not a hundred percent correct um also trouble sleeping i've been having trouble sleeping um besides the fact that i can't get up every like two to three hours to go to the bathroom um because i just feel the sensation that i have to go and so i just go so i wake up every like two to three hours and then which i guess it's good practice <laughs> for when the baby comes and then also like just my back i don't know the other day i had really pain like aches in my back like it's not towards the spine it's more like towards the side I don't know if it's my hip bone or like my disc or something in the back um right above my my butt I guess it's kind of weird it's a weird like location and so it's really painful at first I was thinking maybe it was the epidural I know some people say that the epidural causes pain later on I don't know if it was that though because I think epidurals epidurals are a lot higher and this one feels more lower and to my right side so I've been having pain like that I can't really sleep on my back anymore because I feel like my circulation for my legs it kind of numbs it I don't know so I can only sleep either on my right side or my left side um so I usually use a pillow to help me but yes I'm having troubles and it's not like I'm big anyways right now with my belly I can only imagine sorry I'm like living next to a main street and the windows are not like soundproof or anything so you guys can hear everything going on okay so um my morning belly is also different than my evening belly I feel like in the morning it's a little bit more toned down but by the end of the day I feel like my belly pops out more I mean it's not like I was in with my first child I feel like I didn't show as much in the beginning but this baby I mean I already had a belly going on because of quarantine and my steroids and everything I, my weight gain has gotten crazy I miss going to the gym um, I can't wait till they open here in California because I need to go to the gym like badly I used to go almost what every day at first and then once a while like my schedule got crazy but as soon as they open I'm gonna start going Monday through Friday right before work um once things go back to normal but um yeah so I got I've gained a lot of weight it is a concern of mine because I know that with this baby I'm probably gonna gain more weight and it's just not a good thing um so I'm trying to not be so unhealthy but uh, i don't know it's just sometimes I, i'm really craving chips which is bad i'm not eating for two i know people used to always say that you're eating for two but i don't do that i always even with my first child i just eat for me and then i like to my baby taking whatever they can um i know that also breastfeeding made me get, lose a lot of weight so i'm hoping that I'll be able to breastfeed with this child and hopefully that kind of balances me out a little bit in the beginning because this belly is oh my gosh I feel like the second child always gets bigger as well and if it's a boy or just a big baby I'm gonna get stretched out like crazy I just hope my poor little belly can take it um so 
right now, I don't think you guys will be able to see much. So this is my belly right now. You can see the stretch marks that I have. But it's not really, you know, it's there. It's kind of there. So my daughter's really excited about her new sibling. She keeps um, touching the belly, hugging, kissing the belly. So she's taking it very well right now. Um, I'm hoping that I'm planning that she'll be excited once um, she, the baby's here. I'm, I'm even planning of doing the whole gift thing. I know that some people do that and I thought it was a great idea for my baby to give her a gift and for her to give the baby a gift just so they can start bonding in a way. So um, right now she understands that there's, she's there. So right now she understands there's a baby in my belly, but I don't know if she really understands um, the whole concepts of it, but I know she's, at least we're getting her ready. And once we find out the gender, we will be doing a gender reveal. And so her phone's really loud. Um, <laughs> So once we do that, we'll be able to like start calling the baby by its name. And so she can kind of get even more used to it. I'm hoping that my second trimester goes by faster because I am excited to have my new baby with me. I'm excited to find out the gender. I think that's why I'm eager to know. I'm eager to know if I'm having a boy or a girl. A lot of people think I'm having a boy and I had a dream that I had a boy. And then when I was pregnant with Erlai, I dreamt that I had a girl. So I'm thinking it's a boy, but I'm also kind of thinking that because a lot of people think it's a boy, I feel like it's going to be a girl. And I don't mind having another girl. I have the stuff for a girl and, I would, you know, girls are cute to dress up. But I kind of also want a boy. So I don't know. I'm torn between either one. So either one, I'm happy. Um, I'm excited to do a gender reveal. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.